Hello friends, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to create amazing fantasy scene in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new page or new document. So just click on file, then click on new. Then you can take any of them size. I am going with this one because this one is my favorite size for any document. Then just click on create button. So your document is ready. Now we are going to place some images in our new document. So first we are going to place our image such like I place this image first. So first I am going to select this one by using quick selection tool because it's, this one is the fastest process to select anything. So you just select this one. So your image is selected and now simply drag and drop this one first open your document then simply drag and drop this one so you can see that your image is placed and now adjust the size of your image okay I think this one is the perfect our next work we are going to add sky so where is our sky image so this one is our sky image and we are going to remove this one so first we are going to select this one by using laser tool and then go to edit fill and select content error then press ok the dark area is automatically selected and it's removed by another face so just deselect this one by clicking on select button and deselect this one so this one is deselected Again select this one by using rectangle marker tool and then place this one in your new documents and just simply drag and drop this one. So this one is placed. You can also stretch the image. Then place behind this C. So both our images are placed in in the middle it was a little bit round shape so we are going to edit transform and select warp then and press ok so this one is perfectly placed and so this one is completed now we are going to add more images Now our second step is we are going to select our model image. I am select this one by using paint tool because this one is my favorite tool and the, the selection of a paint tool is so perfect. So just zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus then start selection. So this one is very boring part so I am going to make my video a little bit faster. So we can see that our work is almost done and our next step is we are going to add shadow to provide amazing realistic look. So first we take a blank layer and we just merge this both layer. It's merged so the stick is became white and now we are going to provide shadow. So take a blank layer, go to brush make foreground color black then press ok adjust the size of your brush by using bracket key and apply this so this one is almost done then press ok 
so you can see that the image is looks original and our next work we are going to glow the light providing glowing effect to this stick so this one is the stick and we just go to filter blower and gases blower so you can see that the sticks so the sticks is became little bit glossy and the next step we are going to provide a thunder effect this one is very cool part so where is the thunder but before that we are going to provide little bit whiteness in sky image so just click or blank, take a blank layer go to brush and make white and go to blending mode and select overlay and simply apply this white areas and then we are going to provide amazing thunder effect so go to brush and select lightning where is the lightning this one is the lightning brush and select i think this one this one okay this one is my first lightning so i am providing lightning effect on that area make opacity 100% and simply apply this here it is and simply apply this so lightning is you can see that the lightning effects effect are visible and the next step we are going to provide little bit more light on our model image so just select the layer clipping mask and go to sorry solid color this one is the solid and laser dodge is not affected so just click on right click and select blending options and <laughs> simply hold alt key and then adjust the area so i think this one is perfect then press ok then click on mask layer go to paint bucket tool and simply draw this then again make foreground color white go to brush and we are going to apply little bit white shade So our work is almost completed and we are going to do our final adjustment. So we are going to finalize our adjustment in camera raw filter. So just we are going to match the complete layer by pressing shift ctrl alt plus e. The, the complete layer masked in one layer then we are going to convert this one into a smart object. So this one is converted and go to filter select camera raw and now we are going to adjust in camera raw so just
so the work is completed if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay thank you see you soon with a new tutorial goodbye